Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to the Academy Answers podcast where we answer the questions in the personal development space, personal finance, personal um, achievement, success, happiness. We talk about you creating something that can propel you to the best life, a life that you were meant to live, a life that you are destined to create based on what God has given you that and the skill sets that you have developed and nurtured to add to that seed that we all have gotten from our creator and make it into something that can serve you serve the world and serve your family for generations to come you know we all have a purpose on this earth we're not just put here and the sooner we start to dig deep into that and stop being surface thinkers you know the sooner we start to ask the questions and start to explore and start to get out of the noise, then the sooner we'll be able to stop going around in circles and stop hoping for something that we have not put in the blood, sweat and tears for and stop grudging other people or stop being negative about our own abilities in life. The sooner we realize that we are all unique and we're all gifted and blessed, the sooner we'll be able to change our lives. So this person says, Lewin, I am working hard. How do I win? I'm not winning. I don't feel comfortable that I'm doing the right stuff. So that's a very good question. And, um, you know, a lot of times we say stuff that, you know, we teach the kids or we are taught stuff that is not explained properly to us. And as a result... We, we go off on a tangent of being so crazy and unique and um, hear them, scare them, for want of a better term, with our ideas that we pretty much um, have to troubleshoot our way for too long and we probably end up with a situation, as Mohammed said, Mohammed said that it takes a man about 75 years to learn how to live on his own and by that time, he's, all, he's either dead or almost dead. So... What we are doing is we are reinventing the wheel. And people who want to win, it would be the worst idea to start to reinvent the wheel. What you want, if you are going to win, is a proven system, a model that is working. And you could be unique until you're blue in the face. You have to look at what is working if you want to win quickly. You can go off the beaten path when it comes on to what you create and how you bring it to the world and how you get the resources from it and how you build a product around it. But be prepared to probably lose your shirt and be prepared to take so long to get there that, or be prepared to never get there. Because the smart guy doesn't do that. The smart guy takes a proven system and a model that's working, applies it, win, then he takes some of that resources from the winnings and do his crazy idea, something that's different. But he's already won. So he has some skill sets and he also have the resources and the creative power to go off on some other thing to try some stuff. And he can afford to try those things because he has covered the downside. He has some stuff put away for his family or you have or the Instagram streams over there bringing money so you can afford to experiment a bit. You don't do that when you're trying to win. When you're trying to win, follow a proven system. Everybody's doing it. Everybody makes television almost the same way. The cars look the same. These are multi-billion dollar companies who have resources who could dump money and ads and awareness campaign and everything else to bring something to the market. They're not doing that. They're taking a model that works. So if BMW make the shape, the X6, the shape of the X6, and it's selling for three years in a row, Benz come near to it. And if Corolla makes something that's selling well, Nissan comes near to it. Toyota makes something, Nissan comes near to it. And the American car companies follow suit too. That's why all the cars on the road almost shape the same. The airplanes shape the same. The ships shape, shape the same. Everything, the supermarkets are laid out the same. The clothing stores are laid out the same. The malls are the same. 
because people find something that work and they're not trying to test and troubleshoot they're trying to win so if you want to win the first thing is that don't work in a way uh, that is totally outside of the scope of what is going on and what is working out there start to look at what is working and model that you can add your unique touches but make sure that the main elements are what is working online we do when we sell online we do um a piece of content that takes you to an opt-in page to give you a free gift for example of a p download a pdf a video series whatever it is after you've gotten that put your email address in we capture the email address to autoresponder and then messages are sent out to you every day to inform you give you in content give you entertainment and make you offers to buy something but the process is there's a content you read the content you like it there's a box to enter your email address so you can get some more information based on the subject something that you're interested in once you enter that email um, in there it probably take you to a thank you page and send you an, an email also to thank you for subscribing or maybe it might have a cheap offer an upfront offer open an offer to sell you for seven dollars twenty seven dollars or whatever and then down the line you will be emailed and you'll be introduced to other products that's how all the online marketers do it almost one or two elements might be different but that's the game it's a funnel no one is trying to do any other weird stuff people are just doing that or in that ballpark that's how it work the supermarkets put the things the same way the layouts the, the the distance to the to the milk and the bread all that is tested as humans have a nature that is common among us it's almost the same things that make us buy it's almost the same things that make us run it's almost the same things that make us talk on the phone it's almost the same things that make us scroll social media our behaviors are predictable so if you have this common predictable behavior so it means that if you have the right the same stimulus you can pretty much determine the outcome when you apply that stimulus listen winners don't worry about what work what work is for the short game what is duplicatable if there is such a word is the long game so if you want to win look at what is duplicatable and what is scalable what can I duplicate how does this guy do it how is he duplicating it how is he scaling it I remember one time I tell you a story this guy wanted me to invest in a studio I, I was an engineer he was an engineer he says okay let's get the studio now this studio is a small studio one person can um, can let rent it out at a time you can buy space buy studio time at a time so the studio time was for that time was about $50 US so for the day if we max out $50 US 24 hours in the day $50 US per hour 24 hours in the day that takes it to about a thousand five four is 20 against about 1200 somewhere there don't hold me to the mats now it's too late in the day <laughs> and that's it so i said to him i'm not interested he's like why that's the money you make i'm saying i can't scale it because i will not get more than 24 hours and no one is paying me more than 50 dollars and i can't use the studio to do anything else if i was a producer i was a songwriter i was a singer i could use three hours from it and be performing and be doing other stuff that could make me money down the road and, and so I would leverage it so I would be able to scale the, 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 the asset but I can't scale that asset by just renting it it's limited I'm done I'm, I'm boxed in only other way is if I could identify a channel where I could take the revenue from that and put it into something else that can scale but before I don't want to do that because I still have to tie up so many resources millions of dollars in this thing that I can't scale so I have to wait to turn over that money and there's nothing I can do to change the daily sales every day even if I max out so I wasn't interested so you have to look at the models around you that you're following and see if they can go anywhere 
instead of just jumping and say, oh, I'm working hard. People say, oh, yo, I'm working hard and I can't get by. I'm working hard and I can't get by. What you're working hard doing? You get in the salary. You can predict your salary at the end of the month. You can predict it for all the years. And all the time you can do that, then you have these expenses that you can't predict because things keep coming up. And you have all these bills and these other um, impulse stuff that you can't predict that comes up that you want. And you are stuck in that box. And you complain, but it doesn't make sense because you're not doing something that can scale and you're not employing any other activity that's going to make you anything extra. So you're locked in. So you have to find out and figure out what is it that I can do to add to this and who is it that is doing something else that I can do that is working and how do I model that? That's how you win, my friend. So if you want to win, you got to do what winners do. If you want to win, you got to model something that is winning. You need a proven system that is going on, that is working, that people are onto. If it works, if it don't ain't broken, don't fix it. Get something that's working, run it to the ground, take the resources from that, do what you want to do and try and all the stuff, but always have a proven system that you're banging at. That's how you're going to win and you bang at it. You might not win today, but you can see the prospects. You can see how the steps line up. You might not win today, next year, next month, but you know that, look, this thing can scale. One day I'll wake up and I'll be able to do X, Y, and Z and it will turn to X. Thank you. Have a good day, friends. Always a pleasure. Have a good day.